You know what I hate more than cheap jump scares in a horror film? It's when that same horror film with the cheap jump scares actually has a few good jump scares in it. But those good jump scares get spoiled in the trailer. So now when I see the movie, I'm gonna know what's coming. Why is that a thing? That is almost as bad as when these studios be showing a five second trailer right before the actual trailer. I'm looking at you, Sony and Paramount Pictures and any other studio that has done that before. Stop it. So The Boogeyman is a brand new horror film based off the Stephen King short novel, The Boogeyman. The film is directed by Rob Savage and it stars Sophie Thatcher, Vivian Lyra Blair, Chris Messina, and David Dasmalkian. The story is about a high school student named Sadie Harper and her younger sister, Sawyer Harper, who are still recovering from the recent death of their mother. When a desperate patient unexpectedly shows up at their house seeking help, he leaves behind a terrifying supernatural entity that preys on families and feeds on the suffering of his victims. Now, I'll be honest, everyone, this movie was pretty mad for me. I mean, I can see why people liked it, but for me, it was just eh. But I will say, despite me feeling that way, there are a few things that I actually did like in this movie. I will say, I did like Sadie Harper as the main protagonist. I thought she was fine. I think Sophie Thatcher gave off a very real and uncomfortable performance to the point which you feel for this girl. You see her struggling and suffering through the loss of her mother and trying to get through the day as her life progresses. Her acting was heartfelt, believable, and I actually kind of liked her as a protagonist. She was fine. Nothing really too extravagant, but she was fine, given this kind of mediocre horror film <laughs> you know at least she was good i actually did like the family dynamic between the daughters and the father i thought it was believable they felt like a genuine family it didn't feel like a bunch of actors in a room together no they all had some level of chemistry with one another and it worked to me this movie only had two good jump scares and one of them was spoiled in the trailer because the studio thought that was a good idea for some weird apparent reason i was sitting in my theater like well this is where the monster comes in in three two one <laughs> Up, oh, yep, there it is. There you go. The only other saving grace in this movie was David S. Malkian. I thought he was great for the little time he was in, but even during that little time, it was one of the most, in my opinion, one of the biggest highlights in the film. One of the most memorable parts of the film. This is going to be random, but David S. Malkian is such an underrated performer. I feel like he does not get enough love for his acting capabilities. And given the fact that he's been in a plethora of movies, did you guys know he was in The Dark Knight? Like, what? When all fails, call David Dasmalkian. Sir, you are a superhero. The CGI of the Boogeyman, I won't lie, it looked flat out terrible. Like, it looked like they took a PlayStation 3 graphic and brought it to life. And that did not translate well at all. It just looked treacherous. I do like how the Boogeyman uses the darkness to lure his prey, but at the same time, I kind of wish that we never got a full-on reveal of the character. I would have been fine if it was just some entity that hides in the darkness even though it is but i wish we didn't get to see that but i, I don't know if i'm making sense but i don't know i just didn't like the way they looked <laughs> I, I just thought the design was terrible and there are weak jump scares in this movie but given this being a horror film that shouldn't come across a surprise you're gonna get weak jump scares every now and then not every single jump scare is going to hit but here it it was just whatever <laughs> whatever and lastly i questioned why does Sadie hang out with this friend group? These girls have been nothing but condescending, rude, and arrogant to her, and they claim to be her best friends, and it's like, you're not her friends, let alone her best friend. Like, what? For example, there is a scene where Sadie literally invites these condescending and rude girls to her house for a party, but then by the end, they end up leaving. They kept calling her schizophrenic, crazy, as of like she is just mentally unstable. And it's just like, these are not your friends, Sadie. Get you some new friends. They These girls, they, 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 they don't deserve to be in the same presence as you. They were so rude. And I'm just like, why are you friends with them? It made no sense. I don't know if that was just bad writing or if that was intentional for the character of Sadie. Regardless... It, it just didn't work for me. It just like, all right, the average person would not tolerate that level of disrespect. That's just me. That's just me. Regardless, friend group, horrible people. In the end, The Boogeyman, it's all right. <laughs> it's a movie that I feel like people under the age of 13 will enjoy, but me as a grown man being 23 years old, I just didn't care for it. It's not a movie I can really recommend to people. I feel like it's one of those movies that I feel like you would enjoy more if you're under the influence, or if you want to take your kid to go see it, I'm sure they'll enjoy it. I mean, it's PG-13. I don't think it's that scary, I guess. So, I don't know. With that being said, plugging the boogeyman into the rank system, I'm going to put this movie into the pass zone. And the reason being is because 
the more I think about it, the more I appreciate what they were going for. But overall, it's not a movie that I would really watch again unless I'm with someone who really, really wants to see it. Regardless, right now, I'm giving it a pass. But yeah, that is pretty much my review for The Boogeyman. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys thought about The Boogeyman. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Matter of fact, what's your favorite David Das Malkin performance? Let me know down in the comment section below, and I will see you all in the next one. After working up the nerve, almost equal in size, I walked around with the iron for any wrinkle in time. I paid a piece of my mind for every nickel and dime, but never less than a five and never slept on a job. A killer trap with your squad, yet never left the garage. When your God was close enough to see the flesh of his eyes, get to the button and press it's what the message advised. What's the threat behind a message where the testament lies?